only people who believed Obi would have won the election were the same people who believed Buhari was a clue from Sudan. There are no more Chris subs. Nigerians claiming Tinubu is not my president. My president. Can you imagine? This is no more Chris. Eh? Look at him now. Because of wickedness, he's beginning to look old. Yeah? How, when will you come out and be plain and be issue based in your comment? You can never be issue based in your comment. Eh? Hana is coming out to create a different narrative now. And the same people who believe uh, uh, Peter B should have won the election are the same people who believe uh, uh, Buhari was a clone from Sudan. What, what is all this narrative that this guy is creating? How much is this guy paid to do this dirty job? This tells you that Nigeria is finished. It's been destroyed. Okay? Buhari's government is even better than this. And probably, I don't know, this APC has come to destroy Nigeria completely. And that is their mission. I can see it. So whether everybody dies and there are only people living with the money they have stolen, it doesn't matter to them. They are out to destroy Nigeria. It's a very bad situation that we're finding ourselves right now. Ah. Uh, now, oh, wow. And it's trying to, because somebody like uh, Aisha Yusufu said, uh, Tinubu is not a president because she's not, he's not a legally elected president. And that is why this Reno is trying to throw a job now. By the time they reply him now, he will say the obedience are aggressive, that this, that, that. And now he's throwing the job first. Hmm? In the aftermath of the 2023 presidential election, Reno Omokri, a staunch political commentator, okay, a controversial political commentator, that is what he is, had sharp words for supporters who refused to acknowledge the victory of Bola Tinubu as the duly elected president of Nigeria. Okay, Bola Tinubu, who clinched the president, shall sit in the election conducted by the Indian National Electoral Commission, garnered a staggering of 8.9 million votes. Okay. Hmm. So, Omar Chris critical response aimed at uh, those renouncing Tinubu's leadership and those dubbing themselves obedience was quite clear. He stated, those saying Tinubu is not my president should wake up and smell the coffee. Bola Tinubu is your president and for that you can blame only one person, Peter Obi. He elaborated on the dominance of the People's Democratic Party in the Southeast since 1999. And however, Peter Obi's decision to contest in 2023 did not deter the party's succession success in the region. Can you imagine? So in a stinging remark, Omokri added, the only people who believed he could win were the same people who believed that Buhari died and had been replaced by Jibril, a clone from Sudan. Omokri further alleged that Peter Obi's decision to leave the PDP and most of the donations he received were orchestrated by the APC. He lambasted the so-called obedience for their hasty nature of jumping to conclusions and their seeming lack of humility. Omokri pointed out their tendency to criticize the judiciary today and yet in the same breath see his favor tomorrow. Hmm. So this guy, huh, this guy is still a problem in Nigeria. I don't know why these people are not tired of propagating evil. Eh? Why will Omar Kri not keep quiet and be issue based? He's a PDP for crying out loud. He's not even speaking in favor of Atiku. He's speaking in favor of uh, Tinubu that is in APC. So what, what is happening to PDP at this time? That most people they have are in their party but working for another party, basically the APC. How long will that continue to happen? That is one part. Second part is how can young people like this that, that everybody think will grow to become leaders tomorrow are the ones that are busy destroying Nigeria. So what is the difference between old politicians recycling themselves and these youths that are, that are creating evil narratives to perpetuate their evil in Nigeria. I don't understand. And look at them with their money and with all that thing they are gaining. They are even looking haggard and they're not even, they're not even happy with themselves not to come with the public. Eh? This is terribly very bad. I tell you, sometimes it baffles me that people are 
you know, doing dirty job, just forgetting everything about integrity, doing dirty job because of their sentiment or because of how much they are paid. Their conscience, their heart has been bought. Quite unfortunate. Really, really terrible. Okay, really terrible. Now, somebody said, yeah, Obi's thought will definitely kill this man one day. When his God article was busy stopping good luck, Jonathan in 2012, this good, uh, good behavior of a man said nothing. Exactly. Forget that. Discuss the issue, Renu. Raised, Re Renu raised simple. Can you mind? Discuss the issue, Renu raised simple. What issue did Renu raised? Eh? Renu is just causing confusion, creating narratives and propaganda. That is what he's doing. It can only be possible if Tinubu thought kill you, disobedience, call yourself obedient. Can you imagine? Eh? Why is Renu seeking relevance with Obi's personality? If he thinks he is better than Obi, let him come out and contest for his state position so that we can determine his famousness. Exactly. Go and test your popularity by buying, buying uh, uh, this thing now, uh, buying form and aspire and let people vote you and let's see. Honestly, this Mario no more is totally out of his mind. That is it. He really needs to be cross checked, I suggest. <laughs> Eh? Renu, Tinubu is wiser than what you are doing. Tinubu and his people know you are hungry and seriously looking for what to eat. They might not listen to you. Again, no good leader will listen to you. Can you imagine? Eh? That is a bitter truth on whom Omokri are. A fugitive that's looking for ways to come back to Nigeria. That's exactly what he is. Eh? That's exactly what he is. But obedience are doing well from their different propaganda every day just to make the president without the votes of majority of Nigeria. Good luck of obedience of Nigeria. Can you imagine? So that one is mocking obedience now. That we are, they want to use propaganda to become president. With APC not using propaganda, INEC, all of them are using propaganda. Tinubu's team not using propaganda. Eh? Like this one more Kri and the Jade and Judah is working for you and FFK. Are they all not creating propaganda for you? The so-called Labour Party factions of Apapa and Arabambi, are they not creating propaganda to be able to uh, counter Labour Party and then uh, and pave way for APC to, to excel? You don't know what they're doing. It's quite unfortunate. The mirror cannot see itself. So like the mirror, he will only see the specks in other people's eyes. Now, what do you mean? Eh? What do you mean? Omar Kri, the rise to fame and popularity of Obi is giving you concern. This, your lack of job, is really showing the evil part of you. Your stupidity and irrelevance is increasing by the day. Please, the youth shouldn't see and emulate you as a role model. Obi and the obedience will remain a wildfire as a Nigerian, as Nigerian politics is concerned. With time, corrupt people like you will be weeded out of corridors of power. Abi, it will happen. It will definitely happen. All the evil people will be weeded out of corridors of power very soon by the grace of God. Uh, somebody said you are very right. He's an attention seeker. Attention seeker is his name. Those people who thought Obi would have won are uh, their fraud. Okay, oh, that is your own version of it. It's quite unfortunate that these people are still looking for a way to keep Nigeria suppressed. But how long will it take? It's a matter of time. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment.